In the next few videos, we will talk about creating and rendering artwork in perspective. We will talk about the perspective grid in Illustrator. I gotta tell you that there's a bit of a learning curve here, but we will take things nice and slow and learn only what's really important to get you going with the perspective grid in Illustrator. With the perspective grid and the perspective tools, you can create objects in perspective, but also bring existing objects into perspective. To start the perspective grid functions in Illustrator, you can go to the perspective grid tool in the tools panel right here, or use the shift plus P shortcut. We could also go to the view menu, perspective grid, show perspective grid. In Illustrator, we got three presets for three different perspective grids, and you can turn each one of them on by going again to the view menu, perspective grid, one point perspective, which will make the perspective grid have only one vanishing point. The two point perspective will have two vanishing points. And the three point perspective will be the most complicated and have three vanishing points. Now let's see how to adjust the perspective grid. And I think that it will be the easiest to understand with the one point perspective active. First of all, if you want to move your perspective grid around, you have to have the perspective grid tool active. So let's make sure it is active. Note that Illustrator allows you to have only one perspective grid in a document, so if you want to move it to another artboard, just grab it by something that is called a ground level widget, and just drag and drop it like so. By the way, all these hollow circles are called widgets, and thanks to them you can manually adjust vanishing points, grid plane controls, horizon height, and the cell size. However, these widgets are only visible with the perspective grid tool selected. To adjust the vanishing points, use the left or right vanishing point widgets. Notice that the pointer changes to a two-way arrow pointer when you move it over the vanishing points. If you want to work with a two-point perspective, notice that if you click the lock station point option, then both vanishing points move together. You can also adjust the left, right and horizontal grid planes using the respective grid plane control widgets and the pointer changes to a two-way arrow when you move the pointer over the grid plane controls. If you want to adjust the horizon height, just move your mouse pointer over the horizon line and just click and drag. Notice that the pointer changes to a vertical two-way arrow. You can change the grid extent to define the extent of the grid on the planes, and you can do it by moving the stop widget up and down. You can also increase or decrease the grid cell size by dragging by this widget right here. So these are the ways how you can change the looks of the perspective grid. I know that all this might look frightening at first glance, but just give it a try and see for yourself that it actually is understandable. So in the next video, we'll start the more design part of the class. So far, it's been more mathematical, and now it's time to create some objects in perspective, so stay tuned.